welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create super easy custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos. I'm Mandy Summers and I want to teach you how to get your voice out in that world so it's heard by sharing with you some of my favorite YouTube secrets. Click that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload a brand new video. So let's jump right in and I'm gonna show you exactly how to create quick and easy custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos. Canva is my favorite design website. It's quick, it's easy, and it's got all the presets that are needed to create social media and our YouTube thumbnails, which is what we're going to be talking about today. Now, if you wanted to do custom dimensions, the dimensions that you need are 1280 by 720. But thankfully, Canva has set up a custom template for us to use already. Now, when you're designing your thumbnail for YouTube, keep in mind that you want to keep some consistency across your channel so that your videos are recognizable. So you could use any of these ones that are currently uh, pre-designed and that makes it quick and easy or you can design your own. Now I'm going to give you a couple tips that I would recommend. I don't recommend putting your words on the right side of the page and the reason why is because when people search for a video there are overlays that pop up in the right bottom corner and everything that I have done research with shows that the top YouTubers are putting their words on the left side. It's a great way to pull your eye over. So another tip that I would recommend is putting a background behind your words. This is a really great example of it. And you'll find that most YouTubers are gonna use a picture of themselves with the words off to the left. And this will ensure that your viewers will know exactly what your video is about really quickly. So it's super simple to edit this once you've decided, okay, this is a great thumbnail I wanna use. I have a ton of uploads here. And so let's say I was making a video about princess dresses. You just drag this over, drop it right in, and it is seriously that simple. And then you can edit this by saying DIY Jasmine princess dress. Now, if you want to edit the black box behind to make sure that we get the full words, you just click on it there and pull it to the side. Now, if you're having a hard time figuring out how to click because when I click on this, it actually wants me to edit the words instead of the box. You need to come over to the side here and click there. But let's just say your words were taking up the full box. The one thing that I do for that is I just will bring the box forward, adjust it, and then I will send it back. Um, or if you're on the words and you can't get to the box, then you put them back and then once you're done adjusting, you can bring it forward. It's literally as simple as that. I personally like one file in Canva that keeps my YouTube thumbnails so I can see what I've been doing over the past few times and change it up just a bit so that the new video really pops. So the way that I do that is I add a page when you click it at the bottom here. I'm actually gonna delete this and I'm gonna bring in my thumbnail that I like to use on a consistent basis. So I just copy and pasted it. Okay, so now that that's here, um, I'm going to delete this one that we just made and I simply copy the page. I pop a brand new picture in there depending on what it's about. And I actually go through and I'll change these to, let's say we were doing green, a green theme this time. And the reason why I love doing this is it really just gives my videos a similar look, but also makes them pop um, just a little bit more than uh, the previous video. So this is personally how I like to do my thumbnail. You get to create your thumbnail however you prefer, which is what's so awesome about being on YouTube is it gets to be authentically you. Now, before we finish up, I wanted to show you just a few more tips on Canva on how to use it effectively. So if you click on the text button, you can see that there's a bunch of different 
text designs that are already created so you don't even have to think about it. So let's say you don't want to have to be creative in how you write out your things. Um, you can choose one of these and edit it however you would like. The other thing I love about Canva is there are tons of elements. And so let's say you wanted to put uh, this little graphic here uh, coming out of your coming out of your bottle. So you can just shrink it down and move it up here to the top, just like that. Um, and so there's so many different things you can search, uh, flower and see what comes up. And you'll see some of these are free and some of them are paid items. Um, I just like to click the free thing to bring those all to the top and you can add all these really cool clip arts for free. The other thing is if you are looking for a professional photo, you click on the photo section. Let's say we wanted to get essential oil photos. So you can come on here and you can see there's all these different photos. You can drag and drop them right into there and use that for free. Um, any of the ones that are purchased, it's usually just a dollar to purchase the ones that you want to use there. So if you end up choosing one that actually costs money, it will just show up with a crisscross pattern watermark behind it. And when you go to download it up here, it will prompt you to pay the dollar before you can download it. I personally, when I go to download, I like to save them as a PNG. It's a, a ping file. It's a high quality image and it works awesome. As a bonus tip, if you are looking to put overlays on your video, then you can create thumbnails that go over your presentation. And when you download, you just click this transparent background. It downloads with a transparent background so you can see you, but then also the text or the picture, whatever it is that you've put on that thumbnail shows through your video. Canva is quick and easy, and it's a very effective way to make awesome YouTube thumbnails that really pop. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in receiving a free downloadable template for YouTube thumbnails, click the link in the subscription below. You can also download my YouTube checklist in the description below as well. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and I would love to hear in the comments below what your next thumbnail title is gonna be.